a mole de olla is a one pot meal. Every country has their ways of making stools or one pot meals. In Mexico, it's very simple, very humble. You have your piece of meat, you have your herbs and flavorings, and you make a very rich, flavorful stew. I'm adding three pounds of stew meat that I cut into one and a half or two inch pieces. And I'm putting it in here with 10 cups of water. This is a very, very old recipe. It's been eaten and it's been made generation after generation. It's one of those dishes that I think people hunker for. I'm going to add a half of a white onion, three bay leaves, three garlic cloves, and then I love using mint. It just refreshes this whole thing. And I'm taking this very, very traditional recipe, but I am stripping it down so that you can make it at home any weeknight. Some salt. I'm adding a little bit of black pepper. Now I'm gonna cover these and I'm gonna let it cook for an hour or maybe a little bit longer. You want the meat to be completely soft and cooked and the broth should be really nice and tasty. Now I'm gonna make a sauce that is gonna flavor my stew a little bit more. This is a very usual step in Mexican cooking where you make the broth and once it's ready, you add a seasoning sauce. So what I'm going to use is some tomatoes and tomatillos that I charred. By charring or roasting this ingredient, you go from the very fresh and bright to the deep and rustic and even sweeter side of these ingredients. It is very traditional to use an ingredient that's called choconosle. It is like almost impossible to get them here in the US. And I'm using the tomatillos because they have a similar tart acidic taste. Then I'm going to toast some sesame seeds. They add a little layer of nuttiness and depth to the sauce. You can see how they start changing the color and they're starting to jump in the pan. Come, can you see? And then I have some chilies that I have been soaking here. I have anchos and I have pasillas. They are two completely different ingredients. It's like a pineapple and a banana. The ancho is sweet, it tastes a little bit like a prune. The pasilla is very bitter, but bitter in a good way. And neither the pasilla or the ancho are spicy. I'm adding some of the soaking liquid. It has so much flavor and color. Some freshly ground black pepper. A little bit of salt. It's everyday ingredients that are unpretentious, but they give and give and give. They have a lot of flavor. It is nutty, it is rich, it is rustic, it is... I want to dip a spoon in here. You have a tiny taste and it's like a million flavors explode in your mouth. What I'm going to add is a chayote squash. You guys know it. You have to start making things with a chayote. It's like a cross between a pear and a cucumber and zucchini. If you can find chayote squash, you can use different kinds of zucchini. And then I'm going to add my biggest zucchini here. When people think about mole, they usually think about the mole poblano, which is that really dark, thick sauce that has chocolate in it. This is the only mole that I know that's in soup or stew form. And then green beans, and then the corn, which I think is one of the most fun parts of the stew. My meat needs another half hour, and that's when I'm gonna add these into the pot.
a work on a check the mole de olla. It's been a little bit over an hour and it's looking perfect, just where it needs to be. I'm removing the onion and the garlic. And now I'm going to add the sauce that has those millions of flavors in it. Mm. What we have here now is the base for the mole de olla. You can see how the color changed. So beautiful and rich and with that reddish brown hue. After it has had a chance to simmer for a few minutes, then I add the vegetables. See how pretty this looks? Because we have all those veggies and they're starting to cook in that incredibly flavorful broth. It's a one pot meal, but it's a one pot party meal and it is so hearty and such an experience when you eat it. Now it just needs to cook for 10 more minutes. Mmm, these look so good. Makes me so happy to have this food at home. Mexican comfort food. We're gonna add another layer of color and contrast. Mmm, the meat is so tender. The vegetables are still nice and crisp. The broth is rich and comforting and it feels so good as you swallow it.